All right, hey again, it's Fagan. Uh, we're gonna see how far we can get in about five minutes, starting 1.2.5, number nine, all right? So this is the uh, sketch, uh, the multi-view drawing of what we're gonna make, all right? It's got a top view, a front view, and then it's isometric. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, we can pick up some information about it. They really did not give any directions per se, so we're just gonna have to kind of do it on our own. Um, and I haven't even thought about this yet, how I wanna make this. So. Uh, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, it's got some cylinders um, and then it's got a rectangular prism and then it's got some holes in it. All right. And there's, there's a special way to do holes. So let's, let's start with the bottom cylinder. All right. It's 0.5 inches tall and it's, I'm sure it has the same diameter as uh, this top one. Okay. So 1.25 um, inches, I guess we'd assume. So I've already got a file created. All right. With the number uh, nine in it and we're going to create a sketch. All right. Let's start with this bottom plane, and I want to make this cylinder, all right? So we said it was, uh, let me check here, hit uh, Alt-Tab to check this out. It was 1.25 inches, let's say inches, good. I wanted to make sure it's back to inches. I did millimeters earlier, okay? And um, now we're going to finish sketch. We're going to extrude this up, all right? Um, and the distance was 0.5 so type it in, push enter. All right. Um, on top of that, we've got to have a rectangular prism uh, squared in the middle um, on this thing here. Uh, how big is this rectangle? Well, we're trying to get a clue here. Um, oh, man. Sometimes it's tough to tell how big things are. Aha, there we go. 0.25 inches from the center of the holes to the outside. Okay, so that means all the way across, it's going to be 0.5 inches. And... I am imagining this is a perfect square. Um, maybe I'm missing some information telling me that, but that's just what I'm gonna assume. So click on here and whoa, I made it angry. Uh, we wanna create a sketch on there. All right, so I did a, a right click. So for you, that'd be you know your control, click the mouse pad. Um, all right, so rectangle. And uh, again, I'm just gonna kind of start it here and then we're gonna uh, center it in a little bit, all right? Ooh, I made a couple mistakes. I did not dimension those sides at all before um, dropping it. So let's let's fix that here. Uh, so we said it was 0.5 inches across, I believe. Oh, I need to click first, 0.5, enter. All right, and then we're gonna dimension this line as well. So I just click on the line, lets me dimension it, 0.5, enter. Um, and now, ooh, it's not centered, right? So we're gonna fix that again using a sketch dimension. So from the center point to this line, we need that to be half of 0.5, all right? Um, so click, and if I'm not sure what half the distance is, I can just do 0.5 divided by two, and it should give it to me, there we go. All right, same thing from the center to this side. All right, I'm gonna click, and 0.5 divided by two, enter. All right, good. So we got that like how we want it. Um, let me finish this sketch, and then we're going to extrude it up. I'm gonna put it at an angle before I extrude it, just so I can see what's going on. Uh, so this thing, how tall is it? Well, total thing is 2.5 inches, right? So we've already done the bottom 0.5 inches. Okay, so that means we have two inches left and the top is 0.25 inches, all right? So I'm gonna take two and subtract 0.25 to get this height here, all right? Reading these things is all about kind of putting the math work together. You know, you gotta kind of figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna say two minus 0.25 and enter. And I think that was right. Uh, it looks good. So I'm gonna assume that it did that correctly. Good. And now on top of this, we need to make another cylinder. All right, so we're gonna get going with that. Uh, so we're gonna right click on it or control click for you guys, uh, create sketch. And what's nice is we've got the center point, right? So we're gonna use that. All right, um, so click right on it. And we want it to be the same as that other cylinder. So see how it snaps to it or it should. Um, if it doesn't, actually, it doesn't look like it's going to snap to it. Uh, we're just going to put it in there. 1.25, I think is what it was. Enter. All right, cool. Finish that sketch. Now uh, let's come at an angle again so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to extrude this 0.25 inches. All right, so 0.25 inches. All right. Oh, I missed something. I forgot to extrude that as well. So um, I'm running out of time. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Uh, we're going to do extrude, um, edit feature, and we want this extruded as well. So, yeah, I click it, click OK. We're good to go. Um, all right. So the holes we may have to look at another time, but hopefully you've gotten a little bit of practice, um, you know, putting sketches on top of each other and 